You ready? Let's talk movies, guys. Action! What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for making me a part of your day. As always, I am your host, Ryan D. H. the Ryan680, and this is Alamo City Movie Talk, my solo review, guys. And if you have not already, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that subscribe notification, get notified for movie reviews. Anything we got to do movie related, you are here. This is our one stop shop for everything movies, guys. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. And thank you for making me a part of your day once again. Let's get right to it, ladies and gentlemen. So we are talking about an underappreciated, undermarketed. In my opinion, this film was very undermarketed. And everything and so this film i was going in with not watching a trailer i just knew oh let's check this out a new casey affleck movie that was uh that you know we just got done seeing him in a really fantastic movie one of the best movies of the year oppenheimer which he had an intense crazy fantastic scene there and so i was i mean i before even that so i've enjoyed casey affleck and as gone baby gone i love love that movie you ever seen that movie with casey affleck uh, i do recommend seeing that film but this is by roadside attraction ladies and gentlemen we know De dreaming wild tells of a story of a musical duo donnie and joe emerson spend everything they have to produce a record in the 1970s then rediscovered in 2011 to be ex uh, to be exact to be the exact year the 21st century 30 years later isn't that something that you make an album when you're 15 years old and i actually had a uh, i listened to one song one of the famous songs baby before watching this movie that song is a very emotional on such a young age that you really have feel this connection for me personally wise i don't see why f moviegoers are not really liking this film but I just I get it because it's it's one of those things to where I can't figure out what am I missing what what's this journey that I'm going through there's a lot of reflection points here that I really did love I mean there's a lot of reflection points that are come from past to present that I felt personally was to myself good I mean there's special special moments in here that Casey Affleck does uh, along with the, with his uh, child self in here of course by the star led by the cast and when this cast by all means, guys, this cast is not a force to be reckoned with. There's a lot of good names in here that we've seen. One of my favorites, of course, well, not only Casey Affleck, but, of course, is Walton Giggins. And he is great. I've loved him ever since I saw him one particular movie and he actually did not. He was a pastor there, but he didn't play because I've never seen him play drums in this movie. He plays drums. So, uh, yeah, it was really cool to see that little personal touch there because i am a drummer so i want to say that right now guys i am a drummer and i've experienced what this film was definitely saying we've seen so many different movies to where like the drummer doesn't get the beat or just more so like i feel very personal when it comes down to a lot of emotional grasp where we want the song to be perfect we want the that art we, we, we just want our performance to be perfect we're looking for that perfect measure and i've really incorporated it in here as well uh but watson giggins in here he is really damn good he is great. This film does has, uh, you know, this film really needs more spotlight. It really does. You know, this film surprised me on a few levels here that I thought that really, really exceed here. So we got uh, Walton Giggins, ladies and gentlemen. We got Casey Affleck. Uh, we also got Zoe, who is actually from The New Girl, which I did not know. I was just like, is that the new, is that the girl from The New Girl? You know, which is played by Zoe Deschanel. And we actually have known her from The New Girl. I haven't actually, I'm not a fan of The New Girl. I am a fan of her, of course, with Yes Man, Elf, and another films that happening as well. Uh, of course, the most one of the most famous films, of course, was 500 Days of Summer. So I know her style of acting here, and I really enjoyed it. She really, she played the wife, plays Nancy, Casey Affleck, and Zoe. They really have this onboard chemistry that really captivates you and really gets you sucked into their world to where you kind of like figuring out where are they going and ho you hope for the best for them you know and one of the one of the star actors as well that's a supporting role in here which gives a really good fantastic job of course was the one and only that plays the don senior was Bew bridges and he is fantastic there's so many moments in here that you really get so emotional family heartwarming this this film that's the thing too that i really want to emphasize so much that this film has very heartful performances here this film has so many heartful moments that really captivate a family and what a family is supposed to be and this is coming from a small town of a of a based on a true story of a small town small town family and you know the heartwarming family is really there guys walton giggins does a really captivates you on this emotional brotherhood scene between him and K uh, casey affleck and i really enjoyed it the music in here has so much 
heart in it, guys. I gotta say, it has so much heart. And it's very interesting to see how they portray these, you know, portrays Don and portrays Joe as well. It's really cool seeing Walton become a different character and and K uh, uh, Casey, you know, it just, it's very inclusive because their chemistry together is so damn good. I mean, I think I feel like this movie needs more recognition. It sucks because this film really didn't, in my opinion, point of opinion, it really didn't get marketed um, too much, but I gotta say though, man, this film was really put together. There's a lot of different irritations here that um, different formula here, the way the film started out. There was credits where it just randomly came in, which I was kind of like, eh. And now the negative part of it was that is this film comes out to be a runtime of an hour and 50 minutes. You really feel it in certain, certain scenes. But that's not to say because every scene is meant for the movie, for the portraying of the eye, because you have to understand the struggles and the reflection and the indecisiveness between Donnie and himself. And, the, and I love that a lot. There's a lot of reflection scenes between Casey and, of course, a young, um, young Donnie, teenage Donnie, which is played by Noah Jupe. And I got to say, he they're both of them are so damn good they are really good of course we get the one and only uh from shazam him, uh shazam uh billy uh billy batson himself uh jack dylan uh and he was actually really good in here i loved it because he played young joe as well and we see a lot of great great uh reflection moments here that i well, i want to go back and say because i really i felt very per it felt very personal to me you know a lot of a lot of reflection moments that i feel like that we all go through in our point of time in our point of life especially them because of the fact that they thought they were going to make it big at a, such a young age at 15, 17 years old um and it really didn't happen whatsoever and they and i touch up on that uh a lot so much because of the fact that why are people caring now and it makes sense though i like that it makes the human in the movie it makes it bring uh it brings us to where humanity and everything it just it, it's really deep it really is and i love that his music uh donnie's music is very very deep so at such a young young age and it's really good. I gotta say, it's really good. I listened to a few songs. I'll probably listen to a few more after this review. But yeah, th this movie really shed light on that. Something I did not even know. That's crazy. I didn't even know that uh, 2011 was the year that I graduated high school. And so uh, it, it was definitely a film where like recognitions needs to be made here and i love that you know a lot of walton and casey zoe uh they, they did a great job here bill bridges every time he was on camera i was just he's just a such a sweet guy sweet man in here and i just i love it it really did i really did love the uh the chemistry between all of them it was so well put together and uh again there's a few a few scenes to where it goes a little overbearing where you're where he's indecisive with himself and but that's meant for the film that's meant for the dramatic act and i kind of it kind of should have got cut down a little bit more so and i get it but at the same time though again we go back to where it's very personal for me maybe not for you guys but maybe personal for me because of the fact that i grew up in musician world just like that in musician church and faith and everything so yeah leave it at that guys all right was this fun that we deserved i'm gonna say yes hell yes it is rating one out of ten ten be the highest i'm gonna give this a solid 6.5 ladies and gentlemen 6.5 rating guys this this film needs to be seen i feel like more moviegoers need to be seen there, there was no one in the theater sadly it was just me and two other people and i feel like this film needs to be recognized but it wasn't marketed in my opinion was not marketed at all and it sucks to say that but you know it is what it is i really enjoyed this movie go though guys and i'm going to spread some marketing for it because you need to check this out at a theater near you we i do recommend this movie guys giving it above average rating i do recommend this film be sure to check it out at a theater near you guys as always i'm your host ryan d a killer ryan 680 and this is alamo city movie talk stay safe san antonio and have a good one and get ready there's more reviews coming out from ryan Take you later, guys. Peace.